hope you've enjoyed this series of videos on one of our newest tools here at Helium 10, Listing Builder. Now, I'm about to show you guys something that blew my mind when I discovered it, and I hope it blows your mind too. As you guys have probably heard from different trainings that Kevin King and I have done, one of the most important parts historically of an Amazon listing is the subject matter. As a matter of fact, next to the title, it is the second or third most important field in a listing in order to get indexed and as far as how Amazon views relevancy as well to a listing. Now, what's happened though in a lot of listings is it's disappeared. Let me first show you how it looks uh, when it is in Amazon so you can see if your listing has it, all right? Let me go in here to inventory and manage inventory and I'm gonna show you a listing that definitely has it. It's our egg tray. I'm gonna hit edit right here. And then as you're gonna see, once I go to the keyword section up here, you'll see I've got subject matter, all right? Like three lines uh, of subject matter. Sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five, and here's the search terms. That being said, take a look at the coffin shelf under the same field of keywords. You see, I'm in the same place here. Keywords here on egg tray, keywords here on coffin shelf. What's missing? There is no subject matter. Now, here's the thing. It still kind of exists in the back end. Every time I've tried this, it has worked. It still exists in the back end of the field, all right? But you have no way to up update it here. Well, here comes Listing Builder. What you can do, you can add whatever subject matter you want. Uh, I would say at least three lines up to 50 characters. Only 50 characters is, is what you want to use here. And do three, you can try up to five. All right, try up to five. But if you make it right here in Listing Builder and then you sync it to Amazon, guess what? It will work. I have tested this time after time after time and it works every time where I put in a keyword that is in nowhere in this listing and I am not searchable, I'm not indexed for it. I put it in subject matter, I hit sync to Amazon. 30 minutes later, I run Index Checker. Index Checker is our tool that allows you to see if you are indexed or not or searchable. And sure enough, I go from a no to a yes, I am indexed. So that works every single time for me, guys. Uh, of, of course, it's not gonna work for like forbidding keywords or things you're not supposed to put, but if you wanna get some extra, super, super great, um, high search volume keywords or, or maybe some of your misspellings or your Spanish words that you don't wanna put in your front end and you have no room in your search terms, put it in Listing Builder in your subject matter add like at least two or three lines and then sync it and you're not going to see it, all right? It's not like it's gonna show up like this egg tray where all of a sudden subject matter here is gonna be here. It might look like it didn't work because it's still gonna look like this, but it really does work. You just can't see it here, but you are gonna be able to see it in your listing. So guys, that is like, I hope, I hope you can comprehend how amazing that is because subject matter is so important um, for putting like maybe a couple of your most important keywords there, as well as other keywords that you wanna make sure you're indexed for that you haven't been able to put anywhere in your, else in your listing. If you're just editing your listing in Seller Central, you're not gonna be able to use subject matter in a lot of those listings where Amazon took it away. But as of now, as of when I'm recording this video, um, at the end of 2021, it still is working. So keep trying it, add it in Listing Builder, sync it to your listing and get that extra juicy real estate uh, that has a lot of that rank juice, we call it that keyword rank juice, um, so that uh, you can get a leg up on your competition. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series of videos on Listing Builder. This is just phase one, it's actually still in beta. So, you know, if you find any bugs in it, please make sure to let support know. If you um, have some questions on some other functionalities or you have some suggestions on what you would like to see on, in this tool at a later time, make sure to let customer support know as well. Thank you guys for watching this series of videos and we'll see you in the next tool.